They are brilliant. They are outstanding, intelligent, wise, and creative beyond their age. Welcome to the Genius Kids Show, a, a show that puts uh, kids on the spotlight and let them shine. So on this show, we feature intelligent, gifted kids, be it in sports, academics, and many more. On the DJ All 7 podcast show, we cater for all age groups you know my name is dj ola 7 owen i'm your host on this beautiful platform don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel at dj ola 7 so today on the show we have got um, you know an, an 11 11 year old ballet dancer trust me is going to be an exciting conversation with Dalin. hi Dalin. <laughs> welcome on the genius kids how are you? Well, I'm fine, thank you. I'm good. So, okay, briefly, tell me about yourself. Um, my name is Darlene Makatenega Bingra. Mm -hmm. As you said, I'm 11 years old. <laughs> yes. Um, I turned 11 this year. Uh -huh. And um, I'm, I love ballet, I love dancing, I mm -hmm. love singing, and I love drama. Mm -hmm. Oh, you love drama as well? Yes, like and acting. A a acting drama? Yes. So do you act in school? Pardon? Do you act? In, yes, I do. In school? Yes, I act on stage. On stage? Mm -hmm. Wow, I, I, I love that. So this is Dallin, guys. And, um, you know, Dallin, your father you know, tells that uh, um, you learned French uh, in school. Yes. Um, can you introduce yourself to us in, in French? Bonjour, je m'appelle Dallin Makatende Kabingra. Um, je suis Anz Ons. Um, um, je habite the Grange. Um, je <laughs> <laughs> mon professeur, Miss Chamisa. Oh, yes. Okay, since I was not even, I didn't even get a word. Can you then translate it to English for me? Okay. Um, hello. Uh, my name is Dali Makateni Bingra. I am 11 years old. Um, I live in. Uh, um, the Grange, mm -hmm. and my teacher's name is Miss Chamisa. Oh, I see now. Okay. So maybe by the end of this show, I'm going to learn one or two words. Yes. You are going to teach me, right? Promise yes. me. Yes. <laughs> okay, I okay, okay. So I understand that you play ballet. So when did you start, you know, ballet? Well, I started at a very tender age, mm -hmm. at the age of four. Four? Yes. Wow. I can't believe this. Ah, which year was it? Um, um, uh, 20, um, 2015, 2015 2016, yeah. Oh, okay. Why did you choose ballet? Why not, you know, athletics or chess? Well, I can't say I, um, I chose ballet. Mm -hmm. Um, ballet actually chose me. Oh. Um, yes, influenced by my parents. Mm -hmm. Well, they love dancing, so... Yeah, mm -hmm. I had to follow too. <laughs> I see. So how do you prepare for a performance? Well, um, once you're given the moves, you always, um, it's, you, you're given homework. Mm -hmm. So you now practice, do the big stretches. Mm -hmm. Yes. So how often do you, do you train? Well, um, it's a bit busy because of school. Mm -hmm. So now... Um, Three times a week, mm -hmm. yes. Three times a week? Yes. Um, do you have like specific times, say, okay, in the morning or afternoon, in the evening, or it's just? In the evening. In the yes. evening. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what is uh, the most difficult thing about being a ballerina? The most difficult thing is um, getting the steps in order. Mm -hmm. Yes. And knowing when to do this step, knowing when to do that one, mm -hmm. and especially the, the jumps. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. The jumps when you, you know. I... The jeté. Oh, the jeté. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but ballet, is it like, you know, popular here this side? Or is it just maybe from China, other countries? Yes, other countries. It's not really known here. Yeah, mm -hmm. very true. Because... I'm, I'm new to this. I'm, so that's why I'm asking all these questions. I'm learning. Like, as, uh, when, I, when I was taught that, no, there's a 11-year-old you know, girl who, who plays you know, ballet. I was like, 
what? What's ballet? I was like, <laughs> when the word was wrote to me, it's like ballet, but it's, it's spelled ballet. I don't know why, why is that so? The tea silence. <laughs> tea silent, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so how does your mom and dad help uh, you balance you know, school and ballet time? Yes, they, ha- they help me make this schedule mm-hmm. where I can manage my time on, what, um, on, when, to do, on when to practice mm-hmm. um, the moves and when to finish my homework mm-hmm. or do anything else mm-hmm. or practice my violin. Yeah. yeah. So what do you want to be when you grow up? Well, two two careers. Uh-huh, two careers. Yes, okay. um, I really want to be the president. <laughs> yes. <laughs> president Ed Munagagwa here is your challenge. <laughs> and the next one. And an actor. An actress too. Yes. So you an actress. Yes. Like our 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 very own, you know, Danai Gurira. Do you know uh, uh, Danai Gurira? No, She's not at all. Superstar, like in Hollywood there. So you be you be representing Zimbabwe, you know, internationally on the international stage. Well, not Zimbabwe. Uh-huh. Yeah. Why? Other countries. Other ah, no, you can't yeah. be representing other another country. You you you, you should re- represent your own. No, I, I really want to go wide, wide world, uh-huh. not to just focus on Zimbabwe. Yes, yes, I want to represent other countries and mm-hmm. continents. In, oh yes, so like okay, let's say you're representing Africa. Yes, when you're maybe acting in in America, but you're representing this continent, Africa. Then yes, you know Zimbabwe yes. as a country. Mm-hmm. Oh, I like that. I like that. So, <laughs> who's your you. your favorite actor or actress? Hmm, actor, actress. Well, I don't have a favorite actor, actress. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, let's just say I'm self-taught. Mm. Yes. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, what type of movies do you watch? Action movies. Action movies. Yes. <laughs> Which one is your favorite? So far from the one, I mean, ones that you have watched. Mission Impossible. Mission. <laughs> Any lessons out of that movie? Any lessons? Mm-hmm. Um, to me, it's on the mission impossible. <laughs> no lessons. No lessons. Yeah, <laughs> just just fun. Yes, okay. just fun to watch. I see. So, what type of music do you uh, listen to? Well, any genre actually. Mm-hmm. Because at school, um, we do a lot of dramas. Mm-hmm. Um, this year, sorry, this term, um, um, we did Romeo and Juliet. And apparently, I was chosen to be Juliet. Mm-hmm. So, um, there are a lot of love songs that, yes. yes, I actually had to learn and sing. Mm-hmm. Yes, so, any type of genre. Any type of genre. Yes. Interesting. I'm talking to Dallin here on the Genius Kids show. I'm sure you love the performances. My mind is watching, we try something, just car. Oh, what, what is it all about? So let's talk about the performance, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, what is it like performing in front of uh, you know, an audience? Well, I can't say it's scary, but it, um, I normally perform in front of my parents. Mm-hmm. So it's just imagining my parents in the, in the crowd. Yes. So it's just looking at them. Mm-hmm. It's like looking... Or like um, looking at the rest of the others. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. Yes. So you're not uh, you're not even scared now. No, I'm not. Stage, stage yeah, I'm fast. just looking at you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And uh, how was the fir- your I mean your first time experience on stage? Well, um, like I said, mm-hmm. um, um, I performed when at a very tender age, mm-hmm. so. The first time it wasn't that scary at all. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very young. Very. Yes. Mm. Four. At the age <laughs> of four. Okay. So I want you to maybe demonstrate for us, you know, some of the uh, ballet positions and their names. Is that uh, possible? Sure. Yeah. So maybe uh, just do something for us. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh-huh. Where your heels are together yeah. and your arms in front of you. Okay. Yes. And this is fifth position. Mm-hmm. Um, where you position like this. 
Uh-huh. So you balance on one leg. One leg. Like that. Uh-huh. And your head is tilted yeah. to the right. To the right, yes. yes. Mm. But those are the positions. What are the names? Do you, do, you, do you know the names of those positions? First position, first position there's third position, and second position. Mm-hmm. Okay. No, that's fine. Uh, you can come sit here. And, um, you know... Uh, what do you want to say to some kids, you know, who want to uh, become ballet dancers? Well, um, go for it. There's nothing stopping you. Mm-hmm. Just follow your dream, follow your goal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's, there's nothing that's stopping you. You can just follow your dreams. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like that. So where do you see yourself, let's say, in 10 years from now? Um... As a president on stage, leading Zimbabwe, America, yes. Wow. Hey, as the president. Mm-hmm. <laughs> in the next 10 years, I'm sure you'll be like in, 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 in doing your O-levels yes. in high school. Yeah, but I'll drop out of school to be the president. <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting this one. <laughs> Also, you drove out of school to become president. Yes. So, but I think you should just, you know, enhance first your, I mean, education, then become a president. Don't you think so? Well, you did say they are intelligent, intelligent so uh-huh. what's the point of school? Oh. Yeah. Come again? What's the point of school? <laughs> but you need education, my guy. Well, you said they are intelligent. I'm intelligent. Uh-huh. So. So it's natural intelligent. Yes. But you have to enhance that natural intelligence with maybe, you know, some other, you know, reading books, which you describe, you know, the next, yeah? And being prepared, getting prepared for the, for you to be, become a president, all right? Yeah, you didn't, you do need to be prepared, but. Uh-huh. You want to drop out. Yes. You still want to drop out. Yes. <laughs> guys, guys. <laughs> Ah, guys, I was not expecting this one. That's darling for you. So, okay, since you are naturally intelligent, can you, I'm going to put you on the spot, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, right on the spot. You are the Zimbabwean president at the United Nations General Assembly giving a speech. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> okay. It's going to be interesting. So, you are giving an a speech at UN General Assembly. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. We are listening. We are watching on TV. Uh, the president of Zimbabwe speaking. Um, uh, one statement. From now on, kids are not allowed to go to school. End of story. <laughs> no, guys, darling, not for president. This one, no, no, no. <laughs> We can't afford to have such a president like this. Ah, no, guys. Why? 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 Honestly. You wake up every day. Um, you start your 5 a.m. club. Uh-huh. Do everything. Bath. Eat. Uh-huh. You go to school. Learn, learn, learn. Come back. Uh-huh. And you do the same thing the other week, the same week, the other week, the other week. Uh-huh. What's the point? And then you write exams. You fail. You pass. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. And your life continues oh. just like that. Eh, but but that's, li- that's how his life is supposed to be. So you're tired of school? Tired of school. Ha. Ah. I'm in grade six, going for grade seven next year. Uh-huh. So I'm, I'm tired of it. <laughs> it's been just like six years. Yes. Literally seven, six years only. I'm actually planning on dropping out of school this year. Yeah, next year. Ah, 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 ah. That's even worse. <laughs> and what next are you going to do then if you if you drop out? Um. Do you have any plan? How are you going to make money? You know what? Um, I yeah, I I love cooking. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll be a chef. Get some money, get my own apartment. Uh-huh. That's how my love ends. 
<laughs> I'm sure she's inspired by Tekla from a Yummy Company. And <laughs> Chef Tekla, I'm sure this is, you know, what you've done. These kids look, they are just inspired, man. They are just inspired. So Chef Tekla, I know that you're watching from home. You know, and I want to be a chef. But Chef Tekla, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That, that I don't know. It's a story for another day. But you want to buy your own apartment? Yes. Start your own life? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. So last time, how did you perform in school? Like, what position did you get? Um, I, apparently, I was number three. Number three? Out of um, 40, 44, 45 students. Oh, one, yes. year, one year a good student, a brilliant one, and you want to drop out, but you want to be the next president. Why? Naturally intelligent. Mm -hmm. I came number three. Mm -hmm. Done. Done. Yes. So do you spend some time reading? Do you do you read or you just get straight into the examination and whatnot? Yeah, I do read. You do read? Because um, we are forced to. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm done. The interview is over now. You are forced it to. Yes. By who? Teachers, parents, um, all the guardians. They just say, read, uh -huh. study uh -huh. for the exam, uh -huh. and um, your life is ready. But I say no. Uh -huh. Naturally intelligent. Last term, I was number three. Uh -huh. Naturally intelligent. <laughs> I don't need to read books. Uh -huh. Naturally intelligent. Exactly. You understand? I no, I, no, I don't understand. I'm, I'm trying to. I'm trying to understand. I'm not agreeing with you. What do you say? I'm not. No, but I, honestly, I feel like I, I have to convince you a little bit more to go back to. I mean, school. Don't drop out, please, please, please. Sure. Okay. Hmm? Please don't drop out. If you are going to be the next president, I don't know. why, 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 why then? <laughs> After you've given us. A very short speech at the United Nations General Assembly addressing other presidents. My God. <laughs> Just don't go to school, end of. <laughs> That's what he said. Yes. Oh, okay. Maybe what needs to be said if I say go back to school. Are we in agreement? Go back to school. Yeah, don't drop out. Well, well, okay. Um,. I am tired of school, mm -hmm. but I can go back maybe just for two weeks or a month. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> two weeks or a month? Yes. Why? I'm, I, I, you know, I'm expecting you to go back for about what? Like grade six, seven, form one, form two, form three, form four, form five, form six. That's like seven years plus four years in uni, maybe three. According to my standard, that is impossible. Oh, God. Why? Years. Seven years. Four <laughs> years. Yeah. That's nothing. Seven plus four, that's what, like 11 years. 11 yeah. years. Yeah, you still have 11 years. That's nothing. Nothing to me. No. Oh, wow. Why? A year is okay. Oh. A year is okay. 11 years. Mm -hmm. That's, no, never. <laughs> never. <laughs> Guys, when I go around, I wonder what the parents are thinking. <laughs> because, so, did you tell your mom and dad that, you know, I don't want to go to school anymore? Did you tell them? No, I'm still finding the courage. Okay. But I know they're listening. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think they are going to agree with, with you? No, they, 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 they I know they, they are quite shocked because uh -huh. I've never told them this. Yes. So I'm like, I'm dropping out of school. Okay, you're not telling them officially. I'm dropping out of school. <laughs> full stop. Wow. Wait, there you get it. <laughs> there you had it. Anzi, full stop. I'm dropping out of school. Baba, am I telling? But what if they say, no, go to school. If you don't go to school, we're going to beat you up. What are you going to do? Become a chef. Find my own apartment. Mm -hmm. But right now you don't have an apartment. But they want you to go to school. I steal them. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, that's fine. So your father tells me that uh, you are a bit of um, a spelling buff, you know. So I am going to pick your brain a bit and try a few spellings. Are you yeah. ready for that one? Sure. Yeah, go for it. Guys, and the manao you must spellings are no nanja. And they go nanja. Timbo na wuti mangu must spellings and yabunza bada ba inote onga madarangwa runde ona gumbau. Ne mangu ma face anga runde. I'm not talking about you, but mangu ma face anga gumbau gundi kawabunda this question. Got this spelling. They need about two weeks to respond or to <laughs> to be able to spell this one. But are you ready now? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So guys, you ready for the spellings? We're rolling now. Spell the word lieutenant. Say, say that again. The word lieutenant. Lieutenant. Yes. Okay. L I E U T E N A N T. A N T. Wow. <laughs> guys, guys. <laughs> but I said lieutenant. Where's the F? Where's the F there? Lieutenant. A lieutenant. That was said. Well, you... Lieutenant or l- lieutenant? Lieutenant. Whatever. Whichever. It's lieutenant. Do you, how, how, how do you spell that? You spell... Huh? Lieutenant. Lieutenant. Yes. Lieutenant um, d- d- Darling. Is that so? Yes. Lieutenant. But, you, but when we listen to you know, our big guys, when they're being... You know, there's a hero. Someone died. Like, lieutenant. Yeah, I also know. <laughs> Have you ever? It's like Lieutenant Darling. It's Lieutenant. It's Lieutenant. Yes. Oh, guys, I'm lady. <laughs> it's the genius kids show. Okay. Okay. Uh, I want you to spell the next word. Are you ready? Spell sure. the word flabbergast. Flabbergast. Yeah, so sometimes I'm, like, I'm flabbergasted. So I want you to spell the word flabbergast. Sure. F. L A double B E R G L A S T. Flabbergast. Come again. Flabbergast. Come again. Okay. <sighs> okay. Flabbergast. F L A double B E R G A S T. Wow. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done, darling. That's how it's called. Right? Correctly. Yeah, Sometimes I'm Okay, I want you, since you are very intelligent, I want you to spell the word intelligent. I N T E. Double L I G E N T. Wow, she's a genius, guys. She's a genius. But trust me, the next two words, you're never, I'm sure you never, you won't spell these words. Trust me. Hmm. Yeah. We will see. Huh? We will see. You're promising fireworks. Yes. Really? Yes. Oh? Yes, sir. She's challenging me, this one. I am. On my show? You can't do that on my show. You can't. I can't. Honestly, you can't. <laughs> okay. So, the next word, darling, is diabolical. Diabolical. Yes. <clears throat> okay. D I A B O L I C A L. What? Guys, look, look. <laughs> Ah, guys, 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 guys. I know it's okay. You got to pay the show, guys. Ah. <laughs> what else to ask? Because now I'm challenged. Not even one question she felt. She's just nailing it. It's okay, but it's okay. Uh, but this one, trust me. The show stopper, this one. Yeah, trust me. Xenophobia. Xenophobia. Sure. Okay, mm. let's do this. Oh. X. Okay. E N O P H O B I A. Whoa, 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 whoa. Xenophobia. Xeno- but where is the Z? You know, you missed out the Z. Then you put X. Why? How is that so? It's not even possible. I'm intelligent. The X is um, pronounced as Z. Mm-hmm. Xenophobia. It's not. It's not 
xenophobia. Uh huh. It's not xenophobia. It's xenophobia. Yes. Wow. She's very, she's very, 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 very intelligent. You are such a genius. Thank but you. Do you know what xenophobia means? No. You don't know what it means? No. You just know the spelling? Yes. <laughs> no, I. Now I'm thinking. I want to give you another word. Another word. Yeah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm just okay. Genius. Genius from the genius kids. Mm. So spell the word genius. G E N. Okay. G E N I O U S. No, come again. Oh, sorry. G E N I U S. Well done. Yes, that's the word genius. Now, at least I number battle somehow. You see? You see? <laughs> Nobody, you are very, very intelligent, um, darling. I'm super proud of you. Please don't drop out of school, right? Mm. Oh, yes. Yeah, um, uh, I, I, I'm, I'll be waiting. I'm sure I'm Marajat Chengeta. I'll be waiting for you to be the next president, like you promised us. Um, I'll be like, oh, she was on my show, you know, during, I mean. <laughs> okay. So what would you like to say to our fellow, your fellow kids who are watching right now at home and mothers and you know other parents at home um um thank you for watching this is um very fun um um i would like you to come here too and um do not drop out of school mm -hmm. very least, bad decision a very true a <laughs> very bad decision i like that now mazinzora that's what we love do not drop out of school period okay Thank you so much for coming, Dallin. You. <laughs> there you have it, guys. Um, you know, that was Dallin, the 10 year old, 11 year old, by the way, the you know, ballet dancer. Um, so it's your one and only show, the genius kids. And if you know of any, you know, talented kids, please and let them come through and we let them shine on this platform. Please, 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 please. Uh, Hit our inbox, DM, also on the numbers appearing on your screen, so that our week show. You know, I just love kids. I just love kids. You know, they are so talented. And people think, oh, is she from Zimbabwe? Yes, these are Zimbabweans. You know, it's our time to shine. Thank you so much for watching the Genius Kids Show. Until next time, my name is DJ All on 7. Don't forget to subscribe. Kwanas, bye bye. It's a wrap.